Hello. What's up, guys, and welcome to Dancing with Tech. Today, we're going to be talking about the smart room. Wait a minute. The first time we was inside the smart kitchen, we was talking about the smart fridge. But we in here for another reason. You'll see. All right, guys. As I was saying, we're talking about the smart toaster. Yes, the smart toaster. This is a revolution, like a revolution. This smart toaster is faster, smarter, and tastier. That's what the box says. I didn't say that. What makes this thing so smart? I guess for starters, you got an LCD screen on it, and it looks cool. And it says, it's not just a toaster. Ooh, it says, revolution. <laughs> so, we're going to see how much of a revolution this toaster really is. And then, of course, you got your sad and pitiful conventional toaster. His name is Brave Little Toaster. The name's already trademarked. But anyways, ain't that right? He looks so sad, don't he? So what we're gonna be doing is, so I'm gonna open this up, and then we're gonna see how much better this smart toaster is compared to a standard toaster. So let's go ahead. Got your booklet. What is it? A CD. I can't believe I said a CD. They didn't make CDs anymore. No, it's no CD. Part of it's all downloads. And then. I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not. We're gonna put this down here. You know, I thought I was gonna have to use my, my knife, you know, my really pretty knife that I got from a friend. I thought I was gonna have to use, I brought it just in case, but I guess I don't have to use it. Oh well, next time, right? Oh. Here we go. This is the smart toaster. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, I never saw a toaster with a screen before, but I kid you not. Um, I want to say last year I was Googling like smart toaster. I was trying to find other stuff to add to the smart kitchen, and smart toaster came um, to my mind, and I didn't see it, y'all. I got to on no, I'm just throwing stuff down. You know how I do, I just toss it to the side. All right, so here we go. The process was simple. Very, very simple. Cool looking. You got your different settings and stuff over here. Um, you got your bread. Oh, you got your bagel. Bread. Waffle, pastry like tart tarts, English muffin. All right, anyways, and you got fresh, frozen, and reheat section, and you got your different menus. I guess like the heat control. Oh, okay, so it shows you a picture of how this thing looks too. So what we're gonna do is, and we're gonna have, we got the brave little toaster. Yes. Yeah, the brave little toaster. And this guy could be called the mean little toaster. He's mean, cause he's bad. He's a revolution. All right, so let's get these two guys in here. So we're gonna see if this thing will make my food taste better. Okay, we're gonna see how good it is. We're gonna see the comparison. Is it worth spending the type of money for a smart toaster? 
or it is okay for you to sit there and spend the money on a conventional toaster. That one key difference so far is this is for this has two spots. So I'm gonna be using one spot because it's just me. Unless you wanna come over and eat some breakfast with me. All right, so we got this. This and I got this right here. And we're gonna have this on say four. I wanted to do that one, I don't know. So, we're gonna see. We're gonna hit start. And it slides out. Whoa! A revolution. So, we're gonna see. So, so right now, the toast, the both toasts are heating up the bread. And this from the inside looks like it is, huh, it's warm, man. Yeah, they both are very, very. So, we all heard the little sound. It is done. Looks pretty cool and crispy. Definitely warm and hot. And the other one is this. But hey, you know, I'm gonna move this to the side like So this is faster though. I mean, I'm not a big toaster person to be honest with you. And you know, I'm that guy, like I go on a skillet and fry my own um, bread. So, but I'm gonna see how this is. Now I just bought this jelly from Walmart because I mean, to be honest with you, I was gonna do a video, I kinda like, oh no, I ran out of jelly. Cause I eat it so much. So, I'm gonna see how good the difference is bread tastes. But first, I, before I put the jelly on, I'm gonna bite the bread. Mm. Tastes like bread to me. But this is supposed to preserve the flavor in the bread and make it taste juicier. So I guess like as soon as um, old days get done, we can try it out. But, okay. I'm from the I'm from the first, to be honest with you. I can make me a nice peanut butter jelly sandwich. Let's see. That's scary. <laughs> okay, so. I'm gonna keep it real. You know what I mean? I'm always brutally honest. This actually do taste a little better. Like this do preserve the flavor in it. It really do. But you know, my thing is, it's worth the price tag. Yeah, this is better. Okay, I'm a little hungry. <laughs> All right, so. So now, we're going to try out the bagels. Ooh. Let me hit this. So I wonder if I do this with the tech, if there's a bagel or not. Let me see. Um, it is not that smart. Here. All right. And we're gonna keep the setting at four, okay? So now I'm gonna get the brave little toaster and get it started. And we're gonna get this cool looking thing right here. Now we're waiting for 
these two lovely bagels to heat up so I can eat them, man. Mm. Let me see. I want to see if there's like a different smell to it. No, let me see. You know what the smell is? It smells like heat. So there's no special smell to it. So we're gonna wait and see how this go, right? Um, and as we sit here and wait for these beautiful, beautiful, lovely bagels get brown. Um, my initial impression so far, I mean, I do think this is pretty cool. But I like the fact how when it slides down, it slides on like evenly. You know, you don't have to sit there trying to pour stuff in there. Um, there's all kinds of things you could do with this. Um, oh, this shit is almost done. Like, look at that. It's fast. It's crazy. You just come up. Nice. Ooh. Good eye. Kids, don't try this at home. Ouch! I just never learned my lesson, right? But this toaster right here, whip up a couple second head starts still going on. So, maybe we should do like a few more minutes and see what happens. All right, guys, so we're back. Okay, I sped up a little bit. And I'm still waiting, it's been like a whole hour. No, I'm just kidding. We're still waiting for a very little toaster to shoot out his bagel. But in the meanwhile, while this is still nice and warm, I'm gonna bite into it and see if I know it's anything different with the taste and the flavor. Man, I think I had some um, butter to this. Mm. Nah, bagel person, but ah, this is hot. So, ouch! I'm gonna try to hold it and burn myself. See, see, man, this is really hot. So let me see if I see a difference. I'm gonna blow it first. Mm. Oh no, let me taste one more time. Well, it tastes almost the same, but again, this does hold a little more of the flavor. So, I mean, I think that's kind of interesting technology where they're able to reserve the flavor inside, I guess what they cook inside of it. Well, not cook, but toast. Kind of remind me of an air fryer. Kind of use an air fryer and reserve, make your food extra flavor. Flavor like chicken or fries or what, you know. Well, whatever you put inside the air for it, that kind of makes me think about that. So I'm gonna do one more test, guys. Cause I mean, I was trying to decide should I do some waffles or anything of that nature. I'm not a big waffle person. Honestly, I only got a toaster here because it's my wife's toaster, you know. Like I said, I'm old school. If I want some toasted bread, I put on top of the skillet some butter, and I'll slug, see the cook for a couple seconds, flip it to the next side. And we got some part tarts. Yes, this is endorsed by SpongeBob. <laughs> Psych. But, you know something? I want to watch a few episodes of SpongeBob. You know, SpongeBob SquarePants. Yay. So now, now I do love part tarts. I love this stuff as a kid. So I'm going to see if this. Now, I definitely would tell a difference in the flavor because I love part tarts. When it's cold, or in a microwave, or in the oven, and on the toaster. Let's find out. So I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna put this in here. Let me see. We're gonna click on the pastry. So this is obviously considered a pastry. And mm, go ahead and put you in a bowl. I'm gonna put that at four, give it a little head start, so it'd be nice when both will come at the same time. But it's probably not gonna happen. So now we got pastry and both of them. Uh oh. I guess it's out of so. so. Let's start. 
And I just really love how they got the timer right here. Just the timer. You could just keep an eye on it and let you know what they're heating to. I think that's neat. And it did say it's faster, so it's definitely living up to its name. So we're going to see. And I can tell this is almost done. Both are holding evenly. I don't know. I think it's a really good technology. Right here. It definitely is a revolution. But again, the question is once I reveal the price tag, the question is is it worth the price tag? I don't know. It's worth or not. It's almost done heating, ladies and gentlemen, and I will be able to tell. If it's definitely a huge pack in the flavor. Now, so far, the bread, like, definitely the bread, like, I'm gonna keep it real, it is a different flavor. I mean, it tastes better um, versus the conventional toaster. And the bagel, mm, not too much all, but I, I can tell a little more flavor of the bagel than the normal toaster. So, we bought two burn my hand again and I just just never learn and what I should have did was with this tough with this arm right here I should have just left it on like maybe on two seven versus four but there's no way in the world I'm about to put my mouth on that thing right now and when it stuck to my tongue burn me up but I'm gonna let it cool off This could be some type of chupa that I dare you eat a part tart while it's really, really hot. I'm really scared to do this. It's just like a part tart. Mm. Now you can definitely tell a difference off that. It's really, really dark and brown on the edges. Where the other part tart, which is kind of like this symbol now, it kind of cook even more evenly on the edges and stuff. But I'm gonna let this one cool off for a couple of seconds. And now I'm gonna see if the taste is a factor. Because you gotta think about this. Why would you buy a smart toaster? Yeah, of course, it looks cool. Got the little string, you know. You know, got the bells and whistles. People come in, whoa, what is that? That's a smart toaster. Yeah, you definitely get that type of expression, but it's worth the money. I don't know. I'm not a toaster guy, but I'm pretty sure the thousands of you watching probably love toasters. If you do, and you try to get you a smart kitchen, this might be cool, you need gadget for you. So now let's taste the last and final test, the part toy. That seems a bit different in taste. Well, you guys know, here at Dancing with Tip, we're gonna give you the brutally honest, and I mean the honest information, and I'm giving my honest opinion when I think about it. So yes, it does taste better. The parts of those taste better on this compared to this. You know, it does hold a flavor. Like I said earlier, it reminds me of, of an air fryer. So it really do. But ask myself this question, is it worth a whopping $299? You know, is it worth that much money? But at some places, you get it for $199.99. If you shop at Amazon or a couple other places, you probably find a decent deal. But they always say it's marked off $100. So this is a $299 device, and you can get it for 200 bucks. You know, they use it on sale. So do I think it's worth it? I don't know. Let's, let's see what else this thing can do other than heat your toast, the bagels, waffles, hard tarts. What does it do? 
<clears throat> you know, you got the frozen section, you know. I mean, I guess if you got something frozen, like bagels, or uh, well, not bagels, but like waffles, you know, they had that option here, or something. Like I said, I want to re reheat my part tart, got the reheat option. And you got your settings and stuff here. You know, got your sound, your brightness. Uh, you got what shows the baking time. And then you select whether you're trying to um, preheat or uh, whatever the case may be, trying to eat it right, right away. And then I think about another thing. How can I clean this thing? I mean, the way I use a whole toast, I hold a toast uh, upside down, trash, and I beat it so all the crumbs and stuff will come out of it. That's how I would clean it. But this right here, make it easy for you. Like I said, it's a revolution. It makes it easy for you because you press and all the stuff, then the crumbs and stuff, it falls into this tray. And then you dump the tray out in the garbage can, and guess what? You're done. So I love that convenience. You know, because I mean, I hate I to hold the toaster upside down and try that boom, boom, boom. I do all the time. So do I think it's a worth $300 or $200? Honestly, no. It's not worth that much. Now, I could see if it had like maybe like four slots, then I could justify if they got four slots. But I mean, I don't think it would look nice. Then you had a big old screen, a bigger price tag. But do I don't think it's worth $300. No, do I think it's worth $200? Mm. I would say my first opinion, if it was like 150, then I was okay, that's I think that's decent enough to own. You know, it's it's, it's a quick buy, hey, it's cool techie type add and you know here at Dancing with Tech, we're gonna have all kinds of crazy technology items. So that's my honest review. I'm gonna leave the links in the bottom below and you can check this out. You might be able to get a discount, my find an idea, but just check it out, click on the links at the bottom. Thank you for sitting here, listening to my review. And next time you see me, you're going to see me do this. That's why we call it Dancing with Tech. So, take care, guys. All right, guys. So, after doing this review, my wife was like, this is really, really cool. I want to keep it. And I'm like, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, I guess we're going to retire the brave little Tosa and keep this bad boy.